Hi, my name is Brian Ruha. I've been a developer for over 30 years, and I just wanted to share uh, transaction scope in, um, in .NET, and specifically I'm using .NET 6. And it's kind of cool. Uh, ordinarily, I uh, typically pass connection and transaction around to various methods, and this is a nice way of doing it where you don't have to do that. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, uh, the, the options, and by default, it's serializable, and I'm just changing it to recommitted. Also, I'm changing my database to snapshot mode so that we can easily see the effects. Okay, so here's the commands to put it in snapshot mode, and I have no data in there right now. Let's take a look at the program. There's the outer scope and it just does a simple insert and initially we'll have it close the connection okay and the and the inner method can be called one of two ways if you pass a null it will create a scope itself it will uh, call this local function and then complete the scope but in our case it's actually nested, so it really won't complete it. Uh, when, when you do pass the connection, it'll just call the local function straight away. So this is the case where somebody writes some SQL and they do the typical open one SQL command and close the connection. So, so let's demonstrate that real quick. Okay, so we're in our transaction scope, so we won't see anything committed yet. And then we're going to go inside, and we have a local transaction scope here, and we'll do our second command, and we've marked it complete. Okay, but doesn't really matter in this in this case because we're in we're taking part of an outer scope okay and then this really just sets a flag for when the when the when it goes out of scope because like I'll execute that command and you'll see that it's still not there but when you actually go out of scope, there it is. Okay, let's get ready for the second run. So, okay, in this scenario, we're going to not close it, but if you're gonna not close it, you have to pass it. Otherwise, it'll try to open two connections. And .NET 6, which is what I'm using, does not support distributed transactions. .NET 7 does, but I'm using .NET 6. So let's run it again. So now we call our local function. that we don't have anything in the database yet. Nothing there. And then going out of scope. There it is. All right. So then okay. So I'll wait. Look, look at the code again. There's settings, the outer scope, and then the method to be able to take it either way. Well, thank you for your attention and have a great day.